Hello, 大家好，我是 Susie 老师。Uh, I am sitting in my office today to make it clear that this video is more for parents than kiddos. I apologize, it's been a while since I've uploaded some kiddo videos, but they are coming, you guys. I am making something really special. It is on the way. Just be on the lookout for that. Some of you um, have emailed me and so I heard something about it. That's not the video today. Today, I want to talk to you about the Yodao Dictionary Pen 3 because um, I have a lot of parents, adults ask me how they can learn Chinese, how they can help their kids with their Chinese, um, and want to know just like what's out there to help those of us who are learning Chinese as a second language. And we are so lucky to live in 2022 and to live in a time when there is amazing technology this thing is crazy. I would have never thought that I could hold a, a, a pen basically in my hand and go with this and it would tell me what it said in Chinese. It's absolutely amazing. For a long time, I was using like take a picture, like write it out by strokes and it was a lot of work um, to find those words that you didn't know and it would be a lot, a lot, a lot of work if there's a lot of words or a full sentence that you didn't know. And this makes a big difference. It's a really cool tool if you are someone who wants to be able to read in Chinese. So um, it's less for speaking and listening and more for reading and writing. However, I also am a huge advocate of using literature and books, particularly children's books, I think, but I also read adult books um, to improve your language. So I'm really excited to share this with you. I'll show you what it looks like. But basically, I just wanted to hop on and show you the box and and the pen. But the important thing is I'm about to um, move so that you can see what I'm doing on my desk. And I will show you how it scans. It's honestly really quick how you can just go move it over text. And all of a sudden, the text is on the screen on this bad boy. And you it will read the Chinese to you and if you want it to it can read the English to you but most of us can just read the English um, so here we go I just want to show you how it works if you want to skip my video and just go look at the website because you don't need to know any more about it you just need to know cool tool I'm there go to smartyodao.com and use my code shellpanda25 because if you use my code, you get 25% off, which is a huge discount. And, but the code is only good until November 30th of this year, 2022. So think about early Christmas presents, think about birthday presents, think about treating yourself and use the code XIAOPANDA25. Go to smartyodao.com. If you wanna know more about the pen, I'm gonna show you now. All right, here it is, the Yodao Dictionary Pen 3, straight out of the box. Um, Hold the side button, the red button for three seconds and it powers on. And then we've got scan and translate, word book, history, whoops, um, and settings. I'm gonna start with the settings just to kind of walk you through how you get started and what options you have. You will need to hook it up to your home wireless network, um, but it doesn't need to be connected to the network in order to use. Like I use it in the car while I'm waiting in the school drop-off line all the time. So it doesn't, it's just so that it can stay updated. Um, and it can automatically update. So here at the bottom, multi-line, I will show you how that works. I have multi-line selected because when I'm reading um, a more, well, actually even with kids books, there's often the sentence goes on to two lines and you can pick up the pen and move to a new line and it will still um, like hold out to translate the whole thing for you. I'll show you that in a second. System language, you can, whoops. Um, I have my system language in English, um, but it can be in Chinese or in Spanish because this pen does also do Spanish. Um, so you learning language, it has English to Spanish and Spanish to English, and it also has English to Chinese. So if you're a Spanish speaker that or if you're like me and you actually have a Spanish speaker in the home, my husband speaks Spanish, then that's pretty amazing. Okay, um, pronunciation is just American versus um, UK accent. And then if you're left-handed, there is a way to switch that. And then you can adjust 
the volume and brightness if you want to change those. So pretty straightforward. And then I'm gonna show you how it works. So first thing I'm gonna do is just show you the scan and translate. It says try to be vertical to the paper. So I have been reading Twilight in Chinese. I know it's a tween book, but I liked it when I read it in English. So <laughs> I might as well read it in Chinese. So I'm just gonna show you how it can read this first line and how quickly it translates. Okay, so you see that it read the Chinese. If you want it to read the English, you can. My children, when they read books like this one, where maybe their Chinese isn't good enough to read this book by themselves, um, my daughter, who can read in English, she just listens to the Chinese and then reads the English. But my son, who's five and can't quite read this kind of an English sentence yet, he can click on translation. You say you build your own car. I asked with interest. And it will read the English to you. So my kids do use this pen with the Chinese books. They think it's fun and special and <laughs> they like to to use this when I when I won't read to them. And so if you're not a native Chinese speaker, um then your kids can use this and you could or you could use this to read a Chinese book with your kids. You can each listen to the Chinese and then maybe you could read the English with them. So, I'm also going to show how it does multi-line. So, I'll just um go uh, oh, this is okay. Here's the beginning of a sentence here. So, I'm going to start here and I'm going to lift it up so that I can I'm going to actually lift it up two times, okay? And we'll see how the pen does. So I'll start here at the sentence and then lift it. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty amazing, isn't it? I lifted up the pen two times because the line, the sentence was on three lines and it was able to string the whole thing together. It also takes into consideration context so that it gives you a great translation. I mean, I'm so impressed. You wouldn't happen to know where I could get a master cylinder for a 1986 Volkswagen Rabbit, would you? I mean, that's not exactly an easy sentence and it did it seamlessly. So that's really awesome. So I have been absolutely... Um, loving this for when I come across sentences and phrases where I'm like, I just don't even know what that means. So I'm going to show you another feature on here. So let's say, um, whoops, I'm just going to pull this down and say, um, yep, uh, pong chiao. Pong chiao. Okay. Let's say I didn't know what Peng Tiao was. I can press this star on the side. And now it's added to my deck of flashcards. So I can go back and revisit it later and I'll show you how to get to that. Also, if you press the arrows, it will give you some sentences, which I absolutely love to hear the word in the context of a sentence. Yeah, it gives you a couple. Oh, um, so it's just so awesome to give you the example sentences. I love that. And then when it's a single word, so I'm going to just press pong, then you oh. can see the stroke order, strokes, the radical. It's very cool. And you can also, if you want to specifically practice just this one word with the strokes, you can also oh. add that by clicking the star. And then it is in your flashcard dictionary. So I'm gonna go back. Now, okay. I'm gonna go to wordbook. Okay, it's reading my sentence still. So um, let me go back so you see what I did. So I was doing scan and translate because I was reading the book. Now I'm gonna show you wordbook. And there is Peng and Peng Tiao, the words I just said, like, okay, I wanted to review Peng Tiao. Peng Tiao. And then there it is in my word book. You can see, um, you know, maybe the other day I 
didn't re remember how to Xun Xu. I wanted to practice pronouncing that actually, which is why I saved Xun Xu. And um, yeah, and it has so much good information about it, and you can go back and review it in your um, flashcard deck. And also, if you want, will notice, there's words and then sentences. So if you have any, you can save a whole sentence to your, here's a sentence that I have saved. Yeah, so there's a whole sentence um, that you can also save in your flashcards. Um, history just shows the stuff that you have read, whether you saved it or not. Um, so, oops. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and you can erase those if you want them to be gone. Okay, so um, I'm also going to show you uh, in a children's book. Because I sometimes use the pen as I'm like preparing for a lesson with my preschoolers. Or if I know my kids really love this book and want me to read it to them and I know um, there's a page or something that has some difficult words, I can go ahead and do some preparation by reading it ahead of time. This is all one sentence, so I'm just gonna go ahead and scan it. I'm not even gonna press scan and translate because it automatically does it if you just begin. Okay, so there it is. It was able to do the full sentence. It's pretty quick, I think, with the translation, especially since it's doing such a long group of text. And then as you can see, there are like little lines underneath because those are, instead of doing like the single character, if the character creates a new word, such as xian sheng, rather than doing xian as first and sheng as born, which wouldn't make sense, it underlines it together as xian sheng um, because when it's together, it means Mr. as in Mr. Moon. And so that way, if I'm like, I don't know what xian sheng means, I can click it and it gives me both words instead of each, each um, singularly. So I also wanted to briefly show this chicken scratch. <laughs> this is me just like taking some notes on a Chinese class and wanted to show that the pen can also um, translate handwritten text. So I'm just gonna do one of these. To show that the pen can even do handwriting. So just um, to do one final summary and shout out, uh, smartyodao.com is where you can get this. My code Xiaopanda25 will give you 25% off. So if I were you, I would take advantage of that. There are so many features. Um, and the other thing that I haven't mentioned, but I wanted to touch on is that um, not only does it have English and Spanish, but because it's automatically updating um, systems, when they add new languages, such as Japanese and Korean that they are working on, you don't need to get a new device. Um, updates automatically come. If they come out with something cool, some new technology, some new dictionary, whatever it is, it will update on your device. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Go ahead and visit their website. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or tips that you want to share if you've tried the Yodao Dictionary Pen. Um, and I hope you have fun learning Chinese.